Should should I, I even ask what what you two remember from last time? I from last time I had a quick scrub through the video, so I've got some of that. <laughs> I remember we went to bother Lenny and Carl in the phone. I don't think that was productive, um, for what I can recall. We spoke with Ned Flounders. We had a fight with a bunch of fire elementals. And then some big fire elementals. Did we did we establish that our goal is to go to the fire fields or something like that and investigate what's going on in more detail? Because yeah. we've exhausted our leads in town, right? Is that fear? Is that sort of what we settled on? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's I good. mostly cheered on in the fight. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's quite limited what could happen because of the distance. <laughs> did you did you talk to the mayor? Waylon Smith, I think, is the mayor. I've not written any of this down. Um, we did talk to him at one point. I'm pretty um, sure we did. I can't remember what we said. It might have been just... Um, getting clarification that we should go and do the fucking thing. That might be who, you know, made it clear that we should go to the fire fields. <clears throat> Let's be out. They are a fire. Everything changed when the fire field had. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I guess that's what happened. <laughs> it was a while ago now, I've forgotten entirely. I'm a very bad DM. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so I think last time you literally just. Um, you did lightning bolt, apparently. That might have uh, just been um, to show you what Lightning Bolt was, and not me actually casting it. <laughs> these tickets. Are... Okay, so yeah, you've got a thousand experience for the Fire Elementals, and you got a large Fire Elemental, and you got a hundred experience for helping these. Okay, so yeah, okay, so yeah, you do defeated the Fire Elementals, and you helped all of these um, guards. Can you both make Arcana checks? I know you're not proficient in it, Leon, but it's fine. Arcana, baby, Tanner, some fucking dice. Oh, this is one of my most powerful skills. That um, and religion. <laughs> religion. <laughs> and history. I just know a lot of things. He reads books. Maybe Cubert knows more than I would. I'm big on book learning. I'm a wizard, that's that thing. It's not like sorcerers who just fucking guess. <laughs> just didn't have to learn, just did it. Yeah. Like, oh, what do you mean you have to learn from a book? I could just do that. Yeah. Is that not normal? Uh, did you want me to do it, Leon, or...? Uh, yeah, if you can. I forgot to open the character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is it? Let me... Print. Uh, let's not print. <laughs> where is it? Oh, partner. That's it. Uh, I'll take the ten. Uh, okay, well... Uh, <laughs> Chester, with his 22, Jesus Christ, feels like something has changed from defeating all of those fire elementals. You can't... Like, I, I don't think you understand, like, temporal magic in, in, in the kind of sense, because I don't think that kind of stuff really exists in, in D&D, other than the, um, the artifact that you've got, or at least you don't know about it. But you feel something has changed with all of the fire elementals that you've just... Killed. Uh, we fucked up the timeline. We already fucked up the timeline by. Well, actually, no. I, I'm trying to fuck up the timeline by preventing myself from killing those panthers. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, before we leave town, I actually do want to go back and leave a note to tell myself not to kill the panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Note if to self. To, if you can't go back in time to like prevent your regrets, then yeah, you know, what's it even for? Yeah. <laughs> Note to self. Timeline is Bill and Ted's excellent invention. <laughs> uh right, okay, so with that feeling that you have, uh these guards basically just um thank you 
for helping. Uh, they don't think they would have been able to do it uh, without your help. And they they suggest that you should go back to the mayor to let them know what's been going on. Uh, <laughs> and Chester says, uh, yes, that's a good idea. We will go and inform the mayor of the situation. Oh, speaking of which, have you done, have you done your short rest? Start of the session, short rest. Shouldn't we, uh... Oh, yeah, you should wait, yeah, okay. If Leon's hungry and wants to have something to eat, then that would count as a short rest, sure. Yeah, you need to go a little oh, yeah. I'll go and put all of these bagged into reasonable positions now. Then. Yeah, what would you... Get some dwarf food. It's all very short. <laughs> no, it's like a tiny baguette. Uh, so it's not just all short bread and short cakes. <laughs> well, <laughs> they are artisans after all. There's a price <laughs> about a method of butter in here, it's very short. <laughs> Yeah, so what would you what would you like to do now that you've defeated these guys? Well not the, the fire in the middle. Would you like to go back to talk to I assume it's Wayland Smith. Yeah, Wayland Smith. Can we say off screen that I go and leave that note for myself? <laughs> yes, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you leaving? Are you leaving it outside? Yeah, because we're not far from the crystal forest, are we? No, no, it's just on the other side of town. I'll leave it near where we went to see those panthers. <laughs> and I'll put it on um, on a rock, like way down by a stone. And I'll I'll address it from a friend, which is pretty mysterious. <laughs> and that, that should be enough to close into the fact that we did not to attack these panthers for no reason. <laughs> I think that would be convincing. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I guess if we ever go back in time or something like that, and or whatever. How do we? What? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm I'm just making my own notes now. Yeah. That seems like a better idea. Yeah. So uh, other than that, should we just, um, uh, go and speak with um, Island Smith today? Explain what happened, and then we can go do our short rest. Sure. Yeah. We like doing Terminator style timelines. Some uh, things are set. I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't really think ahead. No fate but what we make. <laughs> Scratch it all tables. Five. You're best level five, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's why I can cast lightning bolt better. And presumably other things I should look at my spell list. I can't remember what I think. That's what I like magic. Really good better. Wait, why can't I scroll any further now? Oh, the page is still weird shape. Okay. Lightning bolt and major image. Major oh, yeah, image? Kind of dodge. That's good. Oh, did you not love you yesterday, last time? Yeah, I'm not five. Oh, okay. I just can't remember what I picked. Yeah, Damn. you get a lot to choose from. I'm kind of dodgy, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm kind of dodgy, it's really good for rooms. Oh, yeah, it's not like I was taking much damage anyway. <laughs> Standing in the back. <laughs> Just fine from the back round. Now you've got even less chance of being injured. Right, yeah. let's have a walk to the office of the mayor. <laughs> Who is the smith? Yep. Yeah, you, can, you don't have to like walk there. You could just go over there. I mean, you've got no issues. I need to get my steps on. 
<laughs> the old Fitbit. Yeah, if we just like magic ourselves there, we're not going to get any. You won't learn nothing, will you? <laughs> you always left your door open. That's kind of fun. Did I make any uh, any voices for these guys? I don't think I did. Did I? I'm not doing it anyway. You said you weren't going to do voices um, anymore because it was very difficult to do the character voices yourself, and then the robots. Um, there was a problem with that. Oh yeah, I listened to that, and it sounded awful. <laughs> it did have a lot of um, issues. <laughs> uh, what? Do you both? I thought there's a bit of way of doing it, but we both had the same XP the whole time. No, yeah, sorry, I, um, I couldn't. I couldn't see Leon. Yeah. We've actually showed up to you know most of the sessions. I mean, I showed up to every session. I think I only had one where. Uh, Leon wasn't there. What level is Kaifes? Oh, well, he's level four. I mean, not too bad. Okay. Okay, yeah, you enter the Smiths. Um, I mean, it's not changed since the last time you were there, but it was basically like only a minute ago, really, because, uh, you know, uh, combat is six seconds per round, so it's not too long ago that you really left the uh, the mayor. Although, to be fair, I don't know where you went after the, seeing the mayor. I don't, I don't remember. So, it may have been... Let's just say it's been 15 minutes. There we go. I mean, it's irrelevant. Uh, I also don't remember. <laughs> you just... You're just going to go up to him? Yeah, let's get like uncomfortably close. <laughs> right up to his face. What's uh, around him? Lads, are you flanking me for a reason? Advantage. Just <laughs> 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 speech checks. <laughs> yeah, so you enter the uh, Smiths. He's uh, working on whatever things he's specifically working on. He looks up at you coming over and says, "Oh, lads." Uh, you're back. It's not been too long. What's uh, is everything all right? What's going on? Silence. Hmm. I'm thinking of what to say. Chester says, uh, "Yes, we we've got and we've, we've got a bunch of fire elementals. Uh, don't you like to hear about that? It's good news, isn't it?" Oh, there was a there was a yeah. <laughs> There was an attack, was there? Have you? Uh, have you oh, you defeated them. Yes, we we thoroughly seen them off. Wow, that's that is excellent news. Maybe we should take this fight to the the elementals themselves. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, you you head over to the the inn, tell them that Wayland sent you, and uh, they'll give you free free food and free drinks, and maybe have a a rest, and we'll talk later. That sounds like a good plan to me. That was a uh, worth and get you a good appetite. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and then he he just leaves. <laughs> Run away. Is Leon saying anything? Did he just stand there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of his vibe. <laughs> <laughs> he just stood behind him while he talked to me, and then that. Good. Oh, that's Leon. Classic Leon. Just gonna pretend to be someone else for a bit. Oh, of course, yeah, you are. Yeah. You are pretending to be Kai. Still calling himself Kai. I forgot you were doing that. Yeah. <laughs> for no bloody reason at all. Okay. But they're long. It's like, oh, he's not here. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I could even produce like illusions suggesting he was here now. <laughs> they're not going to because they're wasting a spell slot. Sure, Kathos would love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could if he'd show up in the in this timeline. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to find you. 
can't figure out mirrors. We left him a note. <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> Okay, I, wonder if he's, the I wonder if he's going to find the other note as well. Because that's technically <laughs> in the past. Yeah, I suppose he would have access to that. Like, oh, don't kill the Panthers. Like, mm. nah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah, so you you enter in the, uh, the inn here. Uh, I mean, eventually. You go in. You go in. Just I lost track of Leon. I was waiting for him, but uh, it turns out I got ahead of me. You know, it, it's just kind of. Uh, I just realised that obviously you have lighting and I don't. So <laughs> yeah, we can't uh, see the walls like yeah. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you uh, you head into the inn, uh, Lenny is. Uh, well, no, Carl. Sorry, is uh, uh, washing some. Uh, glasses. Uh, Lenny is just chatting around to the patrons. Lenny sees you come in and uh, asks how it goes. Oh, you know, just the normal killing things and drinking. Yes, I agree with my friend Typhus. Uh, we've been killing things and, well, now we're ready for the drinking part. We've defeated uh, various fire elementals. The mayor actually told us to come here and uh, yeah, tell you that he sent us so we can um, get, get a little bit of something on the house. It's it's very true that that happened. Uh, Lenny looks at Carl and uh, basically everyone in the uh, inn is just just seems happier now that they heard. I, I assume you don't you're not whispering this. No, it's quite loud. Yeah. Yeah, every, every, like everyone basically heard you, and everyone's basically just pretty happy about this. Like the uh, the fire elementals have been attacking for like weeks, basically, and the fact that they you've been able to do quite a big uh, a number on them has made uh, everyone pretty happy. And Lenny and Carl look at each other and basically nod and just shout, "Drinks all around on the mayor." Mm, nice. You wouldn't think we'd have so much time for drinking if they were getting attacked constantly, but <laughs> he's just can't all be at the gate. He's just patrons and workers, not guards. I can hold a stick. We <laughs> <laughs> just hit kill the firementals with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do him. Are we getting some free food and drink then? That means we get the good stuff. Yeah. I can Is have that how that works? <laughs> oh, yeah, you did oh. eat here last time, didn't you? Yeah. I got that bit of the video done. <laughs> <laughs> Myself <laughs> ordering the largest pie he could find. <laughs> Lenny looks at you two and ushers you onto the... Uh, uh, the table you were there last time, which I think is the circle one to the top left. That's the only one that's not already occupied. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. And uh, <laughs> technically speaking, it's not really been that long since you ate, but uh, I guess fighting would bring up an appetite. And he brings over... I don't know another... those calories by casting magic. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and he brings over you over another menu. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll have a What's the most expensive thing on the menu? Instead, <laughs> it's free. <laughs> uh, ye old sirloin. Oh, uh, Chester will have that. He doesn't do it to the past very often, so <laughs> he wants to treat himself. Mm -hmm. It is free. It's on the mayor. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, two sirloins. <laughs> yes, how you would like it. Cooked, please. He writes down on his note, jerk. <laughs> Thinks he's hilarious. Well Never done. <laughs> and for the bearded gentleman? Uh, medium brown. Medium. That Good way. choice. Uh, Lenny takes the menus and uh, heads over to Carl and 
you know, tells them what to have and oh, and probably should ask you what drinks would you would like. Your finest wine. Oh, wine. A strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> 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 I guess uh, Lenny quabbles to himself and then just sees what he's got in the back. <laughs> oh, your closest to <laughs> yeah. the old strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> uh, so it's about. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to make this up because I don't remember exactly what time it is. It's probably about three in the afternoon now. Uh, patrons are coming and going. Uh, they bring you your food. It's delicious, mainly because it's free. Uh, it brings over your drinks. Would you like to order more drinks? Are you getting, like, merry or...? Well, if it's free. Yeah, he'll have, he'll have two. <laughs> two. He'll have a mint julep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a bathtub mint julep? Yeah. Let's have a, like a, a goldfish bowl full of wine. <laughs> it's another Simpsons reference. <laughs> Got a bathtub mint julep. <laughs> Plastic. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess more time passes as you drink and uh, eat snacks and whatever. And uh, it's... Suddenly three hours later, so it's getting to night time. Are you interested in a that just leaving now, or did you want a uh, like a proper long rest? Do we need a long rest? How are we doing? Uh, let me have a look at my card sheet. It is 6pm, so... Yeah, we could fight them under cover of darkness. Because I mean, we don't have dark vision. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do any of us have dark vision? No. But they're on fire. They're easy to see. Yeah, well, we can still see. We know there are enemies there, so we keep fighting. Um, I mean, I'm not injured, but I do need spell slots back. How many drinks have you drank? Because if you're drunk, I'm going to give you disadvantage to everything. I How many two. drinks have you drank? <laughs> you have two. Okay, fair enough. I Moderately buzzed. He's making them. I don't know how strong he's making them. It could be anything. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's... They could be watered down for all we know. I hope not. Just because mm. they're on the house. <laughs> and a dwarf would water down their drinks. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. I apologise for even suggesting the, the notion. <laughs> Carla, help you. So what would you like? I mean, I could force you to be tired, considering you've had a day of going back in time and fighting things, but uh, I will put it up to you two. Would you like to stay we at the end? We have done two combats. Um, I think it would be fair to stay at the end. We've got time for a rest, and then get straight yeah. onto it in the morning. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, hopefully we don't have any time paradoxes. Let's hope not. That would be really inconvenient. I can't remember what time we came into the town before. We arrived in the early afternoon, right? We've not spent that long in town. No, it did take so a long to get around. Leave before early afternoon. Should be okay. Yeah. What are you? They're just going to be really confused when we walk in. What are you afraid of? What's. What's the idea here? We've only gone back in time 24 hours. So if we're still here when we arrive, it's going to get really weird. I didn't think of that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you hmm. like to send us further back in time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I, I think you're in a, probably on a different timeline now. I, I'll, I'll think about it for next time. It's not that important at the minute. Yeah, we died in the last timeline, so this is the one we shifted to. Rick and Morty style. You just, just keep trying until you get it right. <laughs> I 
Uh, what? yeah, okay. So, okay, so if you're deciding to stay at the inn, then... Um, yeah, uh, given that we've been told that it's safe. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You lie to us. I mean, would, would you even know that, though? Would you even know about time paradoxes? He's a wizard. He reads a lot of fiction. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> Why not? We, we live in a world full of magic. I'm sure someone's, you know, had the concept of time travel. There's literally a mirror here that lets you travel back in time. I suppose, yes. <laughs> Someone must have invented that. <laughs> could, could we... Ah, could, oh, yeah, okay. I'll have to write up some more lore. <laughs> 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 Quickly, make it up. Uh, a wizard did it. No, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you obviously you decide to. Well, it is getting late, so you decide to stay at the inn. Uh, Lenny and Carl basically waive the fee of of staying at the inn because you know you've just saved their town. You, they have no idea what would have happened if you hadn't had uh, helped, <clears throat> and uh, basically give you like free reign for food for breakfast as well and lunch if you're still there. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Let me regenerate out my thing then. So yeah, if you don't want to do anything else, we could just skip to the next morning and you can benefit from a long rest. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Hans. Uh, I don't think we're going to get anything else out of anybody else. Who's here? I think the expectation is that we can get on with it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That seems to be the vibe I'm getting from everybody. Maybe they're all tired too. Okay, yeah, so benefit from your long rest and it'll be the morning. Mm. Got my well rested bonus. <laughs> you wake Time up well rested. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go grab a drink because I have drank mine and I'm talking a lot. So back in like two seconds. Right, yes, where were we? You've benefited from a long rest. It's the morning, a uh, reasonable time. You had a few drinks, so you probably went to... You, you went to sleep and probably woke up about half eight. That's nice, early. Not bad, at least, but, you know. I mean, do you think we could get back on it? Hair of a dog? I mean, uh, Chester, he says he only had two, and I don't know how many you had, so. How much is in a fishbowl of wine? <laughs> it's a couple of glasses, right? A couple of bottles, I think that is. Yes, there was drinking when this quest started. <laughs> it's literally in the full bathroom when he got kidnapped. <laughs> no, whatever happened to us? Hmm. You can't steal a man while he's pooping. It's not on. Just not on. Yeah, where are the bathrooms here? Uh, they're about. You know, use your imagination. Just go under the table. <laughs> drain underneath. Oh. I've used my imagination all over these bones. <laughs> it's magic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, not down here. I didn't go that realistic when I made these places. <laughs> no. uh, excuse me, uh, Carl, uh, where is your shittery? <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's around the side, my good man. Oh, thank you very much. He goes around the side? <laughs> yeah, okay, it's there, we'll say it's there, because I didn't make one, because I didn't expect you to want to roleplay pooping. <laughs> well, people just go down the side of a building. I put bathrooms in some of my buildings. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't think you wanted, like, 100% realism, jeez. <laughs> I just want, you know, a third level of verisimilitude. <laughs> Can't get immersed without pooping. Yeah, this bathroom's another metal gear solid game. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm just more like the Jeeva than you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bring shame upon my family. <laughs> You'll be ashamed of your words and deeds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no toilets in your D and D. For shame. So we'll say that you've eaten breakfast and it's uh, getting on for half nine now. So we can, uh, well, I'll leave it to you. What do you want to do now? You could go straight out. You can. Well, we've had a nice breakfast. And yeah, I think it's just time to get on to do some adventuring. Let's go yep. to do some new stuff. Ready to, ready to kick some ass. Take a name. As Leon. And... I'm here to kick ass and take names, and I'm all out of note paper. <laughs> Shit, he's serious. Is Chester? I am serious. I don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Patrons are very confused. <laughs> oh, 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 just waking oh, up and just saying things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't calling him Shirley to begin with. What's going on? Just, just going. <laughs> well, I guess like after I met Julep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear, Waylon is um, doing smithy stuff as usual. He noticed you come in and uh, basically thanks you again for the the help and hopes you had a good time last night. Oh, very much so, uh, my friend. Oh, you were you were talking about taking the fight to the fire elementals. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on that. Please uh, elaborate. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know how much. Where did you like? How did you get here to begin with? I. Which way did you come from? So sh surely you came from the east. We we actually came from the the crystal forest. It's a long story. He is visibly I not, confused. I also do not have all of the details. So you you don't actually know where you are then? Um, not with 100% accuracy. Just admit. Okay, Where's well... Where's Leon? <laughs> he's, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll teleport him over. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, back me up on this one, uh, Kyphus. Yep, we don't know where we are. Thank you. Or how we got here. <laughs> he he kind of looks a little bit bemused, to be honest with you. He just he might think that you're just a pair of drunks. But anyway, I mean, <laughs> well, drinking. Well, well, yeah. Uh, well, he, hey, he you said they were on you. <laughs> you've enabled this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you've done. Well, I guess that is my fault, yes. Uh, Waylon looks around for a parchment paper and basically draws a very rough map of the area. Um, and he explains... I'll show you the map in just a moment. But he, he basically explains that uh, just to the east, there's a path leading, leading out of Stonefield. Uh, to the south is, a, is the lake that you've seen... But Waylon actually tells you it's the ocean. Um, to the north, uh, a lot of this guy. is the forest inferno, which is the you'll see in a minute. Uh, and then further east is a bunch of hills. And he basically tells you to follow the path around to the uh, fort where the the fire elementals. They think the fire elementals are hiding out. Mm. So, in so, layman terms, it basically says east, north, west. You say this is the ocean. This being, yeah, the, 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 the water at the bottom is the ocean. It's a small world. It's just a bit of the ocean. <laughs> There's more of it. <laughs> oh, so is that a uh, salt water well you've got there? Uh, 
Do you know what? I don't like the cut of your jib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, think... you, could, you could keep fishing. Uh, uh, it's a fresh water I, ocean. I, I'm going to be honest with you, Chester. Uh, we, uh, groundskeeper Willie is the one that Wiley is the one that sorts this out. I, I, I don't know if it is salt water. Then that explains a hell of a lot about our <laughs> about the color of our pee. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Is in mm. league with a bar and get people to drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, just, just um, realised that absolutely no one drinks water except for the mayor. Everyone just drinks <laughs> beer. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'll get the bottom of that. But yes, we should focus on these fire weapons first. I <laughs> appreciate the information. He, uh, Waylon does reply with. I, I want to stress this enough, like, you don't have to go and actually, you, you know, take them all on yourself. Uh, if you want to make this just a normal scouting mission, then that's perfectly fine, and we can just see what we're up against. I mean, if you want to take them on yourself, that's fine, you're clearly capable, you took... Uh, my guards gave me a report, and you took on, like, at least ten last night, so... You're clearly capable, but... <sighs> If you want to take them on yourself, that's fine. If you want to keep it as a scouting mission and we'll take some guards with us next time, then that's fine. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. You're a clearly capable adventurer. Well, I uh, appreciate your compliments. I am a scout by trade. That's wizarding craft has lent itself to. So, yes, I do think we should scout ahead first. And, you know, if necessary, we can handle ourselves. But it'd be better to just get to the bottom of it and figure out what's going on and then Full scale plan. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, He's well, given us the map and the direction of yeah. now, so we know where we're going, right? Yep. Brilliant. Uh, well then, uh, Kyphus, unless you have anything else to add, I think we should be on our way. Yep. Well, we can go do the thing we're supposed to do. Yes, my very articulate friend there is right. Let's go. <laughs> good day to you, Sam. Uh, good day. Thank you for helping. <laughs> he struggles to leave. <laughs> yeah, evidently. <laughs> and then clutches the door. <laughs> <laughs> right, I assume you're going to the east then? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I so will... past where the guards have been. Yes. Keep an eye out. Right. I will move you, hopefully this works, into the... How do I do this? If I just move you... Yeah. Okay. So what can you see at the minute? I hope it's nothing. Um, a cool background image. So you just see the bottom? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right. Let me reveal this area then. So you know about this lot. Uh, let me reveal that. Oh, was that revealed? Wait, let me... No, I've oh, got some I... shit now. I can oh. see the bottom of the background image. Son of a bitch, I did the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello. Right, so this is the map that he drew. It's uh, very simple. I may have drawn it yesterday. I can see why he became a smith and not a sculptor or something. Rude. <laughs> uh, you too are not a sculptor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, true. So, uh, yeah, so the new thing, it takes fucking forever to build those things. So I decided not to and use AI uh, to build it. I've not made many of them uh, because I just didn't have time. So Basically, like, the bottom picture you see is, like, um, it's split them into four. So it's north, east, south, west. Um, so obviously to the north you see... Let me just read what I've written here. That's uh, just from our perspective. Is that what we're saying? Yes, basically, yes. So, uh, like, I don't know if you can see... So if I ping this... Can I ping this area? How do I ping? Right click. So, like, this area is the north just here. This is east, south, south, and then back west is the other side. 
So. Oh, wait, uh, so. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me just write it down. That'd be a better idea. North. Yeah, please give me some light ones. <laughs> no, oh, no, that's black. How do I possibly see that? Uh, let's do it white with a black background. North. Can you see that? Nope. No. Oh, I can see oh, that now. Yeah, there, uh, east. South. Right, I will move these so that they're not annoying. Oh, let's track it west. Where's west? Oh, is this like a panoramic view then? Yes, yes. That's confusing. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, so I there's looked... no behind us. <laughs> yeah, there is a behind you. West is behind us. You. So... But it's also to the right. <laughs> eh? What? <laughs> I yeah, I mean, I put north at the start, and then like, like the last. I was hoping like the last place you went to would be at the end, so you would like try and get more. Look to the. I'm left. I'm gonna scroll up and just use my imagination. Okay, right. <laughs> there we go. Now I can't see anyone. That's really throwing me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't like this, then I won't do it. But like, I just. Maybe I'm just confused as to, as to the geography. It's a it's a good image, but I'm finding the uh, the panoramic nature of it very confusing. Yeah, it's because I'm I've obviously I made it with Photoshop's uh, generative uh, AI thing, so you know it just looks like a a flat picture. It's not got that panoramic kind of thing. I think it's because it's from like zero point perspective where yeah. there's no yeah. behind us. Yeah, because west is the <laughs> <laughs> if West is up, is it north? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously you can't like connect the pictures together because it's a flat plane, but you know what I mean. No, I know, but it's like if we were just if we were to say, oh, don't worry, you can't, you just can't see part of the image because it's behind you. Oh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, I should just. Rather yeah. than having us being facing in all directions at once. I mean, you could just people turn. Aren't, around. People aren't good at doing that. If we turn around, we'll just see some more of the image. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it'll just keep going forever. I just like. Yeah, where does this road go? Hey, it's anyway, I'll, I'm up to your artistic depiction because that's more comprehensible for me. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, right. I'll just read. Oh, exactly right. what I've got. So, so here's the town, yeah. Yes, that's Stonefield. And there's the Christmas Forest. Yep. Brilliant. Okay, it's good for me. This is the ocean now. Yes. Cool. That's all good. Okay. Right, so... That's what some dwarf thinks the ocean is. Yeah, just because we're small. I remember, I'm pretty sure it's over someone like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's ever left this town. I can call him by his real name now. <laughs> like, a, a Leo, lift me up. I want to see if there's the ocean. Um, okay, I'll attempt to lift him up. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh? He's not that heavy, then, you know. Uh, do an athletics check, then. With advantage, no, not with advantage. Well, yeah, with advantage because you're you're basically helping, aren't you? Not unwieldy. Oh, well, it might be for me. Not terribly athletic. Uh, okay. Well, not yeah, bad. you you lift him up, but you know he's he's heavier than you thought he was. It's all that he's, mint he's a big breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's full of sausage. So, what are you oh. looking for? Sorry. I just want to get a better idea if it really is an ocean or if it's a big lake. Can you see the other side? Uh, ignore what the image says. Uh, yeah, the south is blocked by a huge... Well, what? Uh, the ocean. It's largely uninspired. You see nothing but one or two fishing rafts. Okay, so it's, it's like go oh, at the horizon then. Yeah. Maybe it really is the ocean. Okay. Uh, Chester says, uh, okay, uh, maybe it really is the ocean. I, I can't see anything beyond the horizon. Uh, yes, pop me down, thank you. Okay, I'll put him down. Right, so I've got, um, I've got descriptions of all what's in all cardinal directions. Um, awesome. Now, so if, uh, if you want me to tell you, like, what's in a specific direction, or if you want me to tell you what's in, like, all directions, I can just go through them all. 
Um, yeah, and sure, basically, I'll just take notes. Yeah, and you can just go any cardinal direction you want. Just don't go west, because that's backwards. Okay, just go back to the beginning, like, oh, I've been out there, I didn't get it. Shit's on fire. <laughs> I had a really strange experience where I could see an ever direction at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you went out <laughs> east. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, I wish you'd warned me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just a drink. <laughs> you were just dizzy. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so you're just standing on the path outside of um, Stonefield. What would you like to do and or know? Uh, so what's north of us up here? What's all this? Uh, north is... You uh, You heard um, Waylon talk about something called the Forest Inferno. And you Sounds think that's, so. that's probably what's it. It's just a forest that is on fire. Uh, you do notice critters that are trapped and fleeing from the, fr- uh, the flames. Um, there is like a clearing in the middle you can get up to into. Um, if you wanted to check out the forest, that is better than you. Uh, no, sorry. sorry, no. It's this is actually it's 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 a very oh just just in a more general sense. It's a very bad scale. Yeah, it's like that is over there is quite a bit a big distance. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then yeah, so is this like an actual road? Yeah, that's a path. <clears throat> that's the path that you see on the image. Yeah, to the east is a it's a flat plain of grassland. Uh, slight inclines off into the distance where you see large sprawling hills. Uh, the well trodden dirt path leads out to Stonefield towards places unknown. So, um, do we just abandon them? <laughs> no, no. Um, I. I think given that we've travelled back in time, it might be a mistake. Because so I need to figure out... Uh, it just feels like we shouldn't do that. Uh, we, we are quite well committed to helping them out. do this time travel business. We could have abandoned them before, surely. Well, we can get out of the door first. I don't want to go back in that forest. Mm. Well, you know what? I these fire network have been pretty bothersome to me. I'd like to get them dealt with. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, we'll help some small people, small folks of the Shire. Yes. Is that <laughs> what about this? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a soul point. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed back. <laughs> I don't like wizards of the shine. No. They're always on time, never late. Yeah. So you have two. You just, you just can't go back there anymore. Yeah. You have two directions to go. You can go slightly north into the clearing of the forest, or you can go east. I'd like to go slightly north. Oh, so you're going into the. Let's go into this forest. It's on fire. So you I'm enter the. Don't no worry. I can get the lightning bolt. That'll help. So you enter <laughs> into the forest that's on fire. The forest inferno, as they, as it says, as Wayland called it. Um, it's a good thing. Yeah. So once you you well, get into the clearing, uh, yeah, this in all directions they're just impassable flames. Uh, many burnt and singed animal corpses litter the ground. Uh, oh, this fire is going to be going on for quite some time, and you're unsure why the trees are. Oh, hold on, no, I shouldn't tell you that. Never mind. <clears throat> just not sure why the trees are. Yeah, just why the trees. Trees, yeah, trees they work. <laughs> if this was dangerous, he would have told us. Well, you're in a clearing, <laughs> so you can like you can safely be here. Just the trees are on fire. Would you like to do so, uh, anything here? Don't lean on the trees. Don't lean on the trees. Don't walk on the grass. Don't lean on the trees. I need a sign for that. Um, yes, I'm sure that's definitely what the list of higher priorities. Quickly, we need a sign. <laughs> do not touch the burning trees. 
Walk on the grass. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to do anything while you are seeing this ever burning flyer? Uh, send out your elemental friend. See what he can poke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see Frederick's with us still. <laughs> can he just walk into the flames and put up a look around? Mm-hmm. Should we move our token up there, by the way? Yeah, you, you can if you want. Yep. Um, I, I can't click it, I don't think. Oh, can you not? You should be able to. Oh, control by four players. There you go. Oh, there we go. There you go. There is a wall set for... Yeah, there's a little clearing there, and there is a wall. Basically where the reveal ends. Fair enough. Yeah, can we ask if... Can we ask Frederick to have a little walk into the forest of Burnham? Because he won't be harmed by it. Yeah, sure. If and you he could, like, can. have a quick scout out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to get a vibe sure. for how... How long it goes on for and stuff like that. Sure. Okay, so Frederick, Frederick. away. <laughs> so yeah, Frederick uh, walks. Uh, well, he, he's going through the clearing and walks up to the um, the fire. Uh, he stops before. You've never really noticed this before, but he's quite reluctant to go into the flames. Not like entirely sure why. Like. To you, this is just fire. Hmm, that's mysterious. I mean, you can, can command him to, but he is, he, he, you know, he's an elemental. He's basically doesn't have any sort of um, free will or anything, but he's. He's still a like guy. He's still just my boy. Yes, right. He's an, an absolute lad. Yeah, I shouldn't make him do something he isn't comfortable with. He was fine killing others fire elementals because they don't rude. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking rude, mate. <laughs> um. Okay, that's interesting. Let me reveal the rest. I mean, of these I also can't stuff. talk to Frederick because we don't have to share a language. I could, he can only just follow commands. Mm -hmm. We could be a telepathic link, so I can't really ask him. Okay, there well, are... that's useful information. I mean, there are other things you can do. Uh, Leanne, you got any ideas? <laughs> um, no. Uh, let's see what Cuba does. Does he burn? <laughs> Do you really want it's a it's a fire? Do you want to melt your gelatinous cube that gives you poison damage? It's not doing much good. <laughs> He's a masochist, mate. He might not <laughs> mind it that much. <laughs> Just put him on a stick and get him. Very generally. See, see what he thinks. Does he think? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't. Fit. It's like I mean, he, jellyfish, doesn't it? He must think, because he super likes being stabbed. I guess so. Not thinking that hard, then. Yeah, I guess <laughs> if he's... <laughs> hmm. Okay, well... I don't have um, Qubit's details. Right? <laughs> Does he have a... a... Are you able to communicate with him in any way, other than stabbing? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever needed to. <laughs> You know, I don't, I've never looked. He, I don't think he knows a language. I'd be surprised if he did. <laughs> Cubert's the poison cube. I mini ooze. Uh, language is none. Yes, so he just does not communicate. Okay, so we'd only be able to do it in like a see what happens to him if he gets set on fire, sort of way, which doesn't seem great. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. What about Malongo? What does he? What's his deal? What's he think? He yeah. can talk. We, can we, yeah, he can talk. Out of there, guys? Yeah, he basically ignored the guy for quite long. 
Chester says, uh, uh, Malongo, you're a magic sword. Do you have any experience of uh, forests that are on fire for unclear reasons? What, what do you, what's your read on this situation? Is he still on your back? He's still on someone's back. I don't know if I was crying him. Okay, well, hello. Yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, he, he unhooks himself, I guess. Uh, he looks around a little bit uh, at the, uh, the, the fires and, and he says, Oh, well, this, hmm, this is very, these fires are very, I, I mean, I'm a magic construct myself. I can't really, like, sense magic, but this fire is giving me a, it's giving me a vibe. It's certainly not based. <laughs> This fire is cringe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly like you more, Malongo. <laughs> well, thank you, Father Malongo. I, I, I suppose I know Slack more than I did before. Yes. Keep the rich. Sure. <laughs> uh, just noting down, Malongo thinks the forest would burn out. Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to put that in somewhere. <sighs> That's going to be so confusing when we come back to it. <laughs> yeah, it seems like I can find my notes. I didn't have last sessions. I'm going to have to put that in, aren't I? Uh, need to find things there. Add cringe. Into something for later. There we go. <laughs> Someone's going to be super racist. I cancelled it rather than saving it. Cool. Would you like to do anything else? Because of the racism, it has to be cancelled. I didn't feel like we can do anything. Are you sure? Um, So, like, we stood, like, near all this fire. It is actually hot, right? It's not an illusion or something. Can um, I throw a rock into the fire? I want to I wanna know more about why this weird fire is cracking up. Yeah, sure. If you want to throw a rock. Just throw a rock into it. Yeah, you throw the rock into it. Um, ah, well. Okay. I mean, I'm an illusion wizard, so... Yeah, my my assumption is that things could be illusions because mm -hmm. yeah. I do a bunch. I should be doing a bunch of those. Not been in a situation where I can use it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, you throw the rock into the uh, into the flames, trying to get it so that you know you get it into a good amount of flames and into the base of the flames, and it just doesn't seem to do anything. It's like, and yeah, it does affect the fire a little bit, but it's a rock. Mm -hmm. It's not affected by the fire. I mean, magic that makes more for our eyes, doesn't I have. Can I get Ray of Frost on one of these trees? I want to see uh, how the can... fire interacts with that. Yeah, sure. There we go. That's got to hit a tree, right? It's going very high. <laughs> it's a tree. tree that's already on fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. You, you do. Well, you're not going to do any damage. It's a tree. Yeah, you fire this, your rare... Of... Okay, eight cold, eight cold damage. damage yeah, okay, you do eight cold <laughs> damage onto a tree, cool. <laughs> and, yeah, the, the rare frost takes hold. The fire is put out a little bit. Um, uh, the, rare, the, the cold is, is being melted because, you know, the rest of the fire is still going on. But you do notice something about the trees. Um, the trees are on fire, but nothing's happening to the trees. They're just on fire. Like, you would expect mm. trees to burn, but they're just on fire. Then nothing's actually happening. So what we should do is cut down the trees and armor ourselves in them. <laughs> Fire through trees. <laughs> hey. Stop mm. getting burned. I don't know why these dwarves don't think about. 
Well, these trees are definitely trees. They're not acting like trees. Trees are supposed to burn when you set them on fire. You've well, got... what doesn't burn? You've got uh, things you stone? can do to check. Can sure. we make like a nature check? See if these are some sort of magic or petrified trees or some weird shit like that. Yeah, you made nature check. Because it's a bit hard to examine them in detail while they're on fire. But maybe we just have some good ideas about what they might be for observation. Mm -hmm. It's a forest full of uh, enchanted Christmas trees. Oh, no, to... real plastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been discarded. We're going to succumb to the fumes. No wonder we got so dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> when we came out of it. Um... <laughs> you notice all of the trees are actually marijuana. No. <laughs> uh, okay, with an 11? Okay, that's, that's, that's Not all right. Not a forest, it's just some leaves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Taking a look at the ground and, and what you're seeing through the clearing, you only notice that you do notice that all of the the only thing that's really burnt are all of the animals. That sucks. Now uh, you take a little bit closer look into the uh, into the actual forest itself, and the only things that are dead and black and burnt and singed are animals. Like all of the foliage is perfectly fine. That's very strange. Yeah, normally the animals uh, avoid the fire. I guess the food was too tempting. Now, either there's something weird about these trees, or there's something weird about this fire. A fire that only kills the animals, but not trees. Or trees that are immune to fire in some way. It's worth noting that it's every single plant life in, in that you notice that is perfectly oh, fine. All the plant life. Everything is fine. The only thing that's burnt is, is, is animals. Okay. The mid, well. Okay. So, yeah, maybe the, the forest and all its plant life could be enchanted or in some way special. Or the fire only interacts with um, creatures and not plants. So, do we have any plants? Or a skill that any... you could roll to check? <laughs> I certainly don't have any of those. Maybe I can intimidate the trees. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a really high DC roll you're going to have to roll there. Do you have, like, talk with nature or any nonsense like that? I uh, actually, hmm. I got to speak with small beasts, and they're all fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're too late. I don't Maybe know if we that's not in the fire. Do you have anything to check whether something's magic or not, or there's magic around? I don't have detect magic. So, uh, no. Or anything that you could do to Other just... than, like, like, the skill of Arcana. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to solve this without chest. I have to do that much work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you entune yourself into your magic mana waves or however the hell magic works. I don't know. Uh, the weed. And yet... The weed. <laughs> That's midichlorians. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this fire is super. It just radiates magic. It's not proper fire. At least well, not like cheating. fire in the way. It's clearly fire because it's it's burned and singed and killed animals, but something is definitely preventing this fire from burning the rest of the forest. Or burning down the forest, I should say, because it is burning the forest. It's just not affecting it. <laughs> this fire is AF magic AF. <laughs> this fire is well magic. <coughs> Alright, well, let's solve some of the mysteries. It's a very magical fire. In fact, it's so magical we should probably step away from it. Yeah, the only we're probably going to get magic sickness. If we're... The exit oh. is to the south, so you want to head that... back out. <laughs> And now you've got, well, the east and obviously the west as well, but, you know. That'd be a waste of time. Yep. 
Do I have any more? I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can all scan the ocean. Just escape. And well, the real cats <laughs> would never know what happened to us. <laughs> <laughs> He can have his own campaign. Bye. Come to find us. Uh, let's go east then. If you let's wouldn't mind, for a little bit, yeah. Using the arrows, and every every two uh, spaces you go, if you wouldn't mind rolling a d twenty. Ooh, how exciting! Let's roll some dice, baby. What did I set for this? Okay. That's oh, a 13. Yeah, that's fine. You don't see anything of note? You may continue. Oh, okay. Once again, you just continue on. You don't see anything of note? Okay. Here we go. Better? Another six. Again. Uh, wow. So as you come up to the... Uh, yeah, nothing... Uh, you, you don't see anything of note at the minute, but uh, looking around, obviously to the north is still the um, the forest inferno, but to the northeast you see the, the path actually goes round to the north. Um, and to the east, the path continues a little further but bends towards the north, as I said. Uh, past the path lies what looks to be many miles of hills. Okay. I think we should carry on following the path. Sure. It's a lot of work clan hills. How do we know uh, first while running? It's a it's a real struggle. I feel like this is further than they made it seem. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> did he actually give us directions to where the fort was? Or did he just explain that there was a fort? Uh he gave you a a, a... A map and a directions to what he th where he thinks the fire elementals are coming from. Right. Okay. And are we headed in that general direction? Yes. Okay. Oh, I take one more step and I can run on it. No one these bad boys. Oops, yeah, you see nothing of note. Hi. Do I land for the next one? Because that'd be. Sure. Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Ah, you can see a bit further now, so let me reveal a bit more of the area here. Ooh. What's the mountain? Cool. Oh, I do love this computer. It's so terrible. <laughs> I will help you sort out natural pieces and things. Yeah. Oh my god. Just roll the dice for me. <laughs> I'll just roll another one. There we go. It's a three. Three. Right. Let me roll. Let me three. Oh, two. I it would have been used for five minutes ago. So, as you come up around this bend, you. Um... Uh, the, the path undulates a little bit, as it has been since uh, Stonefield up and down hills and slight, slight hills. Sometimes you can't see over the hills. And you just notice this time, when you go over the hill, you see what looks like the back end of a bear. Can you see a all bear these? And by, oh, not, oh. not Kyphus. Oh, hey, I've scrolled down now. Uh, so... We can see that. Yep. Thing. The bear. Uh, the bear doesn't look like it's seen you just yet. Uh, what would you like to do? It is on the path, so uh, to the left, uh, to the east of you. So obviously, to the west is plains, uh, and then eventually the fire, for uh, fire forest. To the south is more plains, and you know the ocean. And west is back to Stonefield. What would you like to do? Would you like to fight, or would you like to try and creep around? I'm not sure speak that. Just another thing you can speak with. I mean, I assume it doesn't speak common. <laughs> it's well, not a small beast. Oh, I think it's kind of bear just far away. 
Like a brown bear, a black bear, polar bear. Oh, hold on. A large beast. The largest. Isn't a large beast it, two by two? If it's. Yeah, bears are big. If it's bigger than a badger, I can't communicate with it. <laughs> I think it's bigger than a badger. That's it's a good 60. Name. It's a good 60 feet away. Bigger than a fat mongoose. Okay. Um. Well. Oh my god, I don't like the there. <laughs> they could lead it into a fire. Well, that seems rude. Why not just leave it alone? You yeah, did kill a hell of a lot of thing. panther last time, so. <laughs> hey, we fixed that retroactively. It won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> When we, sure. when we join our timeline again, it will be fixed. Hopefully. <laughs> we could just wave our arms at it and make it aware of us. You'd like to intimidate it? Yeah, yeah it's it might what you to, to deal with bears. IRL. We make ourselves look bigger. I've got a big gold cloak on, so I can... I mean, Chester could definitely kill a bear. He's a wizard. He can yeah, get us by lightning. It's not a credible threat. We just would prefer not to have to fight it if it's a, you know, a bear and not like a magic bear that could fly or something. <laughs> oh, shit. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Send Malongo after it. It's not, mission. It's not a 120-foot flying bear. <laughs> <laughs> No one has his red ball. <laughs> Good book. <laughs> um, right, so it's ahead of. Is it on the on the path or it off is, the yeah. path? It's on the path. Okay. Well, we could just come off the path and go around it. Really? Mm -hmm. No, we tell him off. The path is for people, you idiot. <laughs> Get back on the grass. If you're going to try and skirt it, then what I'm was... going to need a stealth roll from uh, two of you. I'm, I'm not bothered about Malongo because he's a sword, and I'm not even going to acknowledge that the fire elemental exists for the purpose of stuff like this. <clears throat> I can fucking turn him as all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't think it's probably necessary to do anything about the bear. Should we just... Uh... You know, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's well, go around it. Leon I feel is... sneaking on that, might as well. She doesn't have ceilings walking around here. <laughs> Where's my stealth? It's much worse than yours. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to give it a, a quite a big word, a berth. You leave a good 60 foot. Uh, you saw it around 64 feet away, and you're trying to keep it at that distance, just to just to keep an eye on it. You're uh, you're just about to get out of its sight line when uh, Chester uh, just steps on uh, a bit of uh, some leaves and a stick, uh, creating one of the you know the classic crunch sounds. Uh, the oh, bear yeah. the bear looks up, looks at you, and uh, just growls loudly. And uh, can you uh, roll from your initiative, please? Okay. The bear's doomed. <laughs> the bear? Suicide bear. Ooh, 13. Oh, uh, I don't think I can click on my character. You got your character, did you put it up? 13 for... Oh, Frederick, nice. Do you own... I think... Or both of you can control Malonga, can't you? Oh, Malonga isn't. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, that's weird. I... Chester's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just set to generic. That's weird. Huh, okay, well, there you go. I'll do Kyphus as well, just in case he actually appears at some point. The guy who probably should have had control of Malonga anyway. <laughs> 
Damn, that's a that's that's a good amount. Well, someone's ready for action. Yeah, and he's already hidden. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you are hidden. Do I have uh, the range reference? The uh, he, actually, let me let me try try and do this in an actual kind of. So that one then. Okay, let's move here. So he is sixty feet away, and you are hidden. What would you like to do? Oh, I might as well poke Q about with my bonus section, is that? Uh is that the thing? So, I forgot how I forgot how Qbert works. Uh it says Okay, he's not on the thing. The Qbert's poison. Let me just do that for so oh no. What? Did I not like do any sort of How did we even say we were going to do this? Because I've forgotten entirely. Do what? Um, the first poison. Shared like a modifier. Oh, well, they I have, I have to... to use a bone section to stab him to get the poison. Uh, was didn't they have to roll a? I think they have to do a Constitution save to not be pit by the poison. Yeah, probably. Yes. Uh, I don't know what you've set the DC up as. I think it's a DC 15 or maybe 10 or something. It's 15. Okay, well, that's yeah, actually, that's fine. So, yeah, if you want to... Hit a bear first. Yeah. Are you firing with your short bow, I assume? Yeah. Does that hit? That does indeed hit. Mm. I'll do a uh, constitution save. Oh, yeah, const he does save that, so he's not hit by your poison. But he's hit no, by I the eight. I didn't put on my sneak attack. It's only 3d6. I'll just only. roll it set prop. <laughs> wow. That's not great. Oh, no, that is on minus 12. I don't... What? What did you take? Hold on a minute. I'm confused. Well, uh... it's still 12 damage. Sorry, it's been a while. Yeah, okay, so you uh, fire your bow from the shadows, uh, revealing yourself in the uh, f from the attack, and uh, hits it square in the flank. So you did a good amount of damage with that. Yep, and then I'm going to just run away a bit. <laughs> Fair enough. There's nothing, no cover or anything around here, so there's no like good ways, good places to get cover, but you can... Hide if you if you wanted to. No, bit right. Okay, Frederick. Victor. Um. Right. So I guess we're just fighting the bear. Frederick will just. Can you shoot it with firebolt? Range one twenty feet. It shoots it with firebolt. Jesus Christ! That's a long. I didn't realize it was that far. Wait. Can you just cast fireball now? Oh, did I upgrade him? Yeah, I think I upgraded him. Yeah, he's 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 good level five now. I can learn fireball. Just get incinerated. Uh, no, it is a. Oh, I need to figure that out. I forgot entirely. Yeah. It's just, once per day, maybe. It's just one of his actions. Just fireball. Yeah. Fireball. <laughs> he, he gets fireball. <laughs> uh, I will. Instantly have... becomes the most powerful person. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Every I'll have to give that a. That shoots a fireball at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the town burnt down. <laughs> this may be cast to come down this for a world. <laughs> short rest. There we go. I've edited it now. It could be cast once for short rest. My name is Frederick Oppenheimer. He <laughs> just becomes lord of the world <laughs> because he just constantly fires out fireballs. This won't stop. <laughs> Firebolt. That is just a hit, yes. Bomb. That's six fire damage. Six. And Frederick fires this fireball, hits true, and singes uh, the side where uh, oh, wait, Leon... Oh, it should be 2d6 now, shouldn't it? Should it be? It says down here it increases by 1d6. So uh, yeah, but that didn't actually, doesn't actually do it automatically, because that's, that's not how that works. 
So yeah, is it three D six? Um two D six. Two D six, yeah. Okay. Two, and I assume that should also be two D six as well. Yeah, just roll another die. Yep. Another one damage. <laughs> that was so worth it. <laughs> so what do you do? You got seven up. Yeah, you hit it and uh hit it on the side of the uh with the where Leon just hit it. So he's uh he's a little bit annoyed. Oh no, that's not right. Is it twenty twenty? Should yeah, be it's probably having some regrets. A little bit. Uh, I don't think he can do anything else, can he? So it's Malongo's turn. Who I don't think can do anything. He can get closer, get him away. Yeah, his speed is 40 feet. Yeah. <laughs> He's a speed bump for us. Am I controlling Malongo, or do you want to do it, Chester? Oh, do you want to do it, Leon, actually? Because, like... I don't think he'd listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never talk to her, Uh Yeah, no, I... <laughs> like, the first thing I say to him is, like, commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, he's probably he, not going to listen. All he can do is uh, just go his full... Uh, well, he can... He can go and tank for us. Yeah. yeah. In case the bear advances, it'll have to yeah. go through him. A flying sword. <laughs> That's literally all it can do. So, Chester. Chester, bear, bear. Well, are we really committed to killing this bear? Chester still feels bad about the pampers. <laughs> and this bear ain't done shit yet. Um, well, driving, you can eh? ready an action and weigh it and see what happens. Do I have any... I don't have sleep or anything. <laughs> Just do some sort of illusion to scare it off. What bear scared of? Um, All the bears? Park ranger? Park ranger. Picnic baskets. No, wait. I'm just looking at the minor illusion options. Sure. What, what can I do with this? Have you got any ideas for things I could do that are less than... Like small things that are smaller than a five-foot cube that would be effective at disrupting a bear attack? I don't know. Uh, a dragon? <laughs> Maybe it's... A very small dragon. A little bit of a dragon. <laughs> a five-foot dragon's pretty big. Like, make it fill the cube. Like, it's a cube dragon. <laughs> Block dragon. <laughs> For the purposes of this exercise, dragons are cubic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the range is only 30 feet as well, it's not very good. <laughs> I don't know, you could create a wall of fire, but not like fire, do you? An imaginary wall of fire. I've already got a sword flying at it. Yeah, let me, uh, I'll add bands. Because the range on that is only 30 feet. I'll put it, like, ahead of the bear. I'll produce an illusory wall of flame that's five foot across. Okay. Matter of illusion. Five foot high as well. That's yeah, pretty big. Do you, want to, do you want to draw it? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> so, are you trying? Do you want to roll an intimidation check as well while while you're at it? If you would like to, yeah. <sighs> Oh, hold on. Yep. Yeah, he's quite strong in intimidation. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this uh, this bear rolled a one for his save <laughs> against this intimidation. A three minus two. So, yeah, it's not even like his turn. Well, yeah. Have you done your turn? Yeah, that'd be that my turn. Yeah. Yeah, so as you put this fire up and the bear 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's an animal. It still knows what fire is and knows to stay on it. And considering that the, f- uh, the forest is also on fire, he gets super, super intimidated and super scared and just uses a dash action to just fuck off. Finally, enough to do for chess of something without violence. No, it was a little violence first. Yeah, he didn't have the he rolled poorly on his initiative. He couldn't stop you. Right, con- well, congratulations for, for like not killing the bear. I guess. Yeah, come back later if make friends with him. Yeah, that snake's coming back soon. He'll join our team. <laughs> Defeat the final boss. <laughs> the power of friendship. <laughs> yes, please, Dave's 200 experience for not killing the bear. For ending combat very well. Yay! I'm so effective. Go pacifism. Let's get rid of the turn on Right, so we're out of combat now, so we're back into the uh, the world map. So I'm going to move all of your characters into the the darkness, the darkness, yeah. and probably get rid of all of those drawings as well. Oh, we got rid of the, all of the bloody text. Typical. <sighs> it wasn't doing much for me anyway. Okay. Well. <laughs> Okay, with the bear gone, uh, the way looks clear. Alright, so we... Oh, well. Let's go north, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. I think. Mm-hmm. We start rolling every two steps. Yep. Roll some dice, That's a nine. You don't see anything. Nothing happens. But um, to the east, you do notice this mountain, and you don't understand why you didn't notice it sooner. Considering you know it's vastly higher than the surrounding hills, and it's covered in snow, and it's cloud covered covered top. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Oh, full mountain. Anyway. <laughs> On we go, I suppose. Yep. Yep. On the Do you have any more vision? Uh, yes, bear with me. I was just creating something. Uh, right, so what can you see? You'll probably be able to see all of this. So, let's do this. Oh, hello. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, right, would you, would you like to know what you see around you? Yes, please. Right, so to the east, the mountain still stands mighty. Uh, even the base of the mountain is extremely foreboding, and you wonder if it holds any life at all. Uh, to the west, um, which is more like further up, but I'm going to say this anyway. Uh, to the west, the path continues onto, into the horizon. Uh, I won't continue in, uh, saying that because uh, you can't see out of it. But to the north, you can see the plains, uh, which has been disturbed by a landslide, uh, rock and plant debris. Debris? Debris? Uh, cover the otherwise pristine grasslands. Uh, and you can also see a building of some sort. Can't really make out what it is just yet. Uh, 
Wanna go check out the building? Yep, so what did you say this was? There's some sort of rock slide, isn't it? Yeah, it's a landslide from like slightly high hills and a bunch of rocks and debris and stuff have just fallen down. Rock and stone. Ooh. They probably think the dwarves did it. Okay. How dare you blow up our planes with your rocks? Bastards. Did you roll for that one, by the way? For what one? For the one that you were just on? Yeah. Okay. That was a nine again. Okay. Yeah, you're getting very duplicate uh, things at the minute, aren't you? I'm just so lucky. <laughs> wow, uh, I didn't really think about failures. Just so but... lucky. <laughs> that bear comes back with all his mates. <laughs> Sorry, I smell. <laughs> uh, yeah, so once again, undulating uh, hills and whatnot, and uh, you come across, uh, walk up uh, the path and go uh, look over the hill, and you find a what looks to be. A goblin hunting party. Get you all in. Let's have a Kyphus. So it's about 75 feet away. If you want to like uh, get yourself into any position you like uh, before the line that I put you on, then that's fine. Uh, yeah, these guys are, they're actually going in the opposite direction to where you are. They're going to um, like towards the landslide. And they haven't noticed you yet. I wonder why they're there. What could be in the last time? One of these days I'll take take goblin as a language. Is chess a sweet goblin? What language is just chest and uh common right, so... and language? That's not enough languages. I know everything but the bloody goblin. I even know Dwarvish. What's the point of that? We haven't met any of them. <laughs> Luckily, they all speak common, I guess. Well, it is pretty common. Roll credit. <laughs> uh, I'm having this configuration. Yeah, I mean, it... I don't see how it could be better. They're all miles away, so... What do we want to do? Do we want to try and tell them if they're going towards the rebel and see what they're doing? Or do we want to just attack them? Uh, let's see if we get any... If we just hide, um, they might just walk past us. Yeah, let's, let's wait and feel that situation a bit. Yeah. And if we don't, we can intimidate them. We are literally twice the size as each of them. Are you yep. literally just going to wait for them to pass then? Well, yeah, I mean, they're not passing because yeah, yeah. Are yeah, you following them? Sorry. Yeah, I want to follow them. I want to see why they're going towards the landslide. Uh -huh. oh. I desire more information. I stealthily do that then. Ish. You know, as stealthily as I can. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got loads of spell slots. I'm just going to... How long did we build the glass? Up to hmm. one hour. Yeah, I'm just going to turn invisible. Okay. I got a spell slot for it now. I'm level five. I can afford to do this. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you want to be invisible and don't need to roll anything because you literally cannot be seen. Woo! I, I don't tell Leon that I'm about to do that. <laughs> Okay, so Leon is just there with a, with a sword and a fire elemental, and no one else, because Chester is now invisible. Yeah, imagine I'm not looking at you and you just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wink in first, and then just said it was a... <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, in your hidden states, you uh, follow the goblins, they you know, they do goblin kind of shit. They 
slight amount of infighting. They talk to each other in their goblin uh, language. Um, and they eventually get to the... I'll move you up there, actually. They eventually get to the rock slide, uh, where they basically just start picking through all of the rocks. You can't... You're, you're still like a good like amount of distance away from them, so you got seventy five feet or so. You can't really tell what they're actually looking for, if they're looking for anything specific. But they're just there, like picking through all of the um, all of the rocks. Some of them are just like munching on bugs and stuff that they find in the rocks. Uh, some are sat down. You don't really know what they're doing. They might be just be hunting for food at the minute, or they might be just be, you know. You have no idea. Hmm. Well, that's been less productive than I have. Um, well, you've got probably forty odd minutes before. Yeah, I got a little while before I the bloody weather. <laughs> I just observed them for a little while. Okay, well, you observe them for another 15 minutes and they basically just do exactly the same that they were doing before. They uh, they pick up more rocks, look under them, um, find any bugs, and they'll eat the bugs. Uh, These... Chester says, well, well, it's still invisible to Leon. It's like, mm. These goblins are very boring, aren't they? Yeah, do you want to kill them? <laughs> no? <laughs> I get a sense of no. He, he, cha he changes side and, and says, uh, I'm not sure. I think our DM was about to say something, though. Uh, I was not. For wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm anticipating what you two want to do with these goblins. <laughs> these goblins, they look like they're just foraging. Oh, oh, we could just fireball. He can't just do fireball. <laughs> I think Fireball, I'm pretty sure it would hit them all. Uh, <laughs> how big is Fireball? I think it's 60 feet. Oh, yeah, it's somewhat stupid like that. A 20 foot radius sphere. So, let's get their ruler. Get the ruler. That's about 40 feet each way, right? Right, total. Yes, yeah, that, that is. Yeah, 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 you'll get all of them. Jesus oh, Christ. Just... It's like tactical. Missile in the house. Can't you nuke these goblins? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Let's see what happens. We want, to, we want to give it a go, right? What's the range on um, Fireball, though? Oh, it's, it's a long range, isn't it? It's like. How does the reach. Wait, what? Because it's for some reason some of them are like radius and then some of them oh, are yeah. measured. Well, it's been written it down here as twenty feet we melee weapon attack. That's so it's, I think not that's right. incorrect. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. It like he runs in suicide bombers. <laughs> so. Punch him, they'll explode. Uh, let, let me. Let me. Uh... It won't affect him because he doesn't care about fire. <laughs> Right, so, right. Okay, so let's actually do this correctly. So it's not melee. It's the local ranged. terrorist Frederick. <laughs> um range uh radius and it's a hundred and fifty feet range. Right, that is better. There we go. I should proofread more often. Yes, okay, so yeah, it's got hundred and fifty feet, so you're well in 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 uh in range. Should we do that then? Just get Frederick to blow them up. <laughs> yeah, why not? We need to see what it does. A lot of damage. Okay, uh, who, well, should I roll 8d6 fire damage then? And then uh, they'll have to make saves. They need to make saves, yeah. What is your spell save? Because it's going to take yours, your DC oh, thing. Oh, pretty good. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, right, okay, so the one, two, three, four, five, six, it's a seven. Seven, okay, let me roll seven dexes then. So will you say 16? 
15. 15. One, two, three, four of them fail, and three of them don't fail. Um, however, you take half damage in a, in, a, in a succeeding one. So these poor goblins, who are the most basic bitch, <laughs> run-of-the-mill <laughs> monsters, are just fucking obliterated by your 28 damage. The lowest one here, the, the highest health one of these guys has is, is nine. I did not yeah. expect you to do that. <laughs> In fact, they made an instant kill on half of them. Yeah, like, you yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, uh, four of them save. Uh, four of them don't save. Sorry, so they take the full twenty-eight. Three of them do save, so they take fourteen. <laughs> and in the middle of this, basically scree, like side of a of a hill, you've just obliterated seven. What do you call it? Seven goblins. Well done. I hope you're happy. Well, Frederick, I... well, that, that seems uncalled for. <laughs> that was a strong response. Yeah, take 350 experience for <laughs> this. Okay. A minor massacre. Not how I expected that to go. You gave him fireball. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but uh, okay. We did all right today, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
just kill these poor innocent goblins. Well, they're probably not innocent, but these poor goblins. Uh, you head back to the path. We weren't even that poor. No, no apparently not. <laughs> just these goblins. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, to the west here, you see that the path continues to the horizon. You, The building that you see um, further up, you see building further up, sorry, and you notice the path also diverges to the north past the building. Uh, the building itself uh, seems to resemble a guard tower, if a little run down. So, what would you like to do? I want to investigate this guard tower. If you can go in front of it for me, and we'll do some. Uh, Wait, can roll again? Uh, no, can you roll? Can you two roll perception, please? I'm going to have to see the shit out of this tower. If I plus one, bonus. Okay. The tower is also invisible. <laughs> <laughs> My invisible eyes are not working very well. Oops. Shit. <laughs> what? Nothing. Uh, no! I've been attacked by a book mace. Out of nowhere. Not buttock. He's back. <laughs> no session is free from that scourge of buttock Johnson. <laughs> Bloody buttock. Always there. Watching. Waiting. Always waiting. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I've tried to proceed. Would you like to me to do it? Uh, if you if you want, yeah. <laughs> Do I still have yours up? No, I don't. Okay. I mean, Leanne's perfectly okay. We're not looking. <laughs> I prefer you did because I did a bad job. Perception. Fourteen. Uh sure. I'll give you that. Yeah. So as you roll up to this, roll up. As you walk up to this, uh. Uh, guard tower. Um, it's clearly been disused. Um, like it's, it's, you know, been run down and stuff. It stands three stories tall. Uh, the third story is open to the elements with a small roof on it for, uh, uh archery combat and stuff like that. Uh, stories one and two are built with grey stone oak, uh, likely taken from the, the forest. And there is a bit of a lean to on the side where you will probably, like, have, like, bunks and stuff like that, but that is fully broken. There's only frames and stuff. And since you rolled quite well in the perception, uh, Leon, you do notice that there are people inside of it uh, looking like they're trying to ambush people. They haven't noticed you yet as because you noticed that you're now careful. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, is, is Chester still invisible? Are you, yeah, are you still invisible, Chester? Yeah, if my okay. pants aren't right, I'm still invisible. Okay, can uh, you roll... You cast fireball? I can cast lightning bolt. <laughs> can you roll a stealth check for me, uh, Leon? Just for the next few turns, I suppose. Um, if you could you roll... Don't, what would you like to do? I have to go with AFK for a second. I should keep his character oh, sheet. Oh, Jeff's going to okay. Can I go? So, okay, get the drink. Yeah, good idea. Right. Let me uh, roll your stealth. You've got a plus seven, so you're probably going to be fine. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Considering they haven't seen you anyway, so. Okay, so. Inside of the, the first, well, the, the ground floor of the... Um, the guard, how, guard tower, you see what looks like three, maybe? Three or four? Okay. Uh, highwaymen uh, inside of the uh, uh, inside of the guard tower. Probably, they're definitely trying to ambush people going past. But they haven't seen you, and you are, uh, you know, in, in a good position. 
I mean, I wish I got better. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's put them closer because they would be closer. Put them there. Yeah, you are 60 feet from them. They haven't seen you. Um, there's uh, the entrance to the uh, uh, the guard tower. It, it's it's not very well maintained. The one at the back is this one. Is if I can do the oh, okay. There it is. Focus ping. There it is. That one is in cover, <clears throat> and the rest of them are not. But uh, what would you like to do? They haven't seen you at all, so you could even scout around see if there's any other way ways in. Well, uh, let's talk it out, Chester. What kind of offensive spells have you got? Uh, my spellbook. Quite good spells. So, uh, Chester has lightning bolt, uh, magic missile, mouse acid arrow, and cloud of daggers as the defensive spells. So. From what we can see, is we're only like one way in an artist building. Yeah, what's the situation like walls wise? Can I draw something? Because <laughs> if <laughs> we could just like hold them in. Sure. If you played a rectangle. It's about that. <laughs> uh, and then this guy here. Where is it? He is in cover. That's just slight amount of cover. Uh, I can't really make an entrance and exit, so I'll just make it in a different color. Uh, I'd put it wide. There you go. And you can see at the front, that's the door. There's like a window here that's dropped a little bit. You can see through, and there looks to be a hole here. Not really sure what that is, but it is like it's like you can see through basically. It's the tower's butt. Yeah. But <laughs> mouth, nose. <laughs> Alright, um... I guess we could just avoid them, but... Yeah, if they're trying to ambush and they don't know we're here, then they're not going to be able to ambush us, are they? We just keep going. Yeah, it's not idiots. <laughs> Do are a better sure? job next time. <laughs> well... We, we have just take a short rest. And, yeah, <laughs> but it comes back on a short rest, right? It's just short rest here. Uh, it's once a day. <laughs> then... What's the short yeah. rest? Oh, actually, yeah, we could just go and sit down for a, <laughs> <laughs> for a fun record, an hour or two. And then we come back with five while loaded up. Okay, if you want to do that. <laughs> it'd, it'd work. Yeah, if you want to go two spaces away and uh, roll again and then do a short rest. You'll have to roll again after the short rest because you'll be doing there for it's like an hour, isn't it, short rest? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's, only it's the solution to everything. <laughs> actually, no, I, I'm tethered to Frederick, so I, I need to go as well. Are we going to have a short rest then? Yeah, I mean, I can... Because I'm hidden there, I can just stay and make sure we don't move while you go and do that. So you're being careful then while you have a short yeah, rest? Yeah, I can just sit. I can just sit down and make sure they don't wander off somewhere. Okay. If you want to do your uh, D20 uh, with advantage, then. I mean, I don't need to. Uh... Have a short rest at all. What do you want me to do? Stealth again? No, it's all right. You, you, you. But you, uh, I mean, you might as well have a short rest if uh, if Chester's having a short rest. Uh, you can stay, I mean, you can stay there and stay hidden. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's what, yeah. That's what I kind of want to do because I've I've got full health. I haven't got anything to regen. Okay, Chester. Do you want to do you want to roll two d twenties? Um, now, roll four of them, and we'll see. 
Wait, what? This one? Uh, this is for the uh, random encounter. Because you're going to... Because uh, you can't have a short rest here because you're literally outside. They could see you if they move about. So if you move two spaces to the left... Or to the right, sorry. Got an encounter on my hand. Look like I'm still invisible. Oh, you are invisible, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but it's an yeah. hour, so your it's invisibility will go away. So yeah, It'll yeah, wear off midway through. Yeah. Okay, that's a good roll. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you rolled. Oh, that's, yeah, I rolled uh, a twenty-three on the uh, on the drink running. <laughs> wow, that's really bad rolls. Yeah, you there. Uh, yeah, you're fine. That's fine. Nothing's fine. You you had a short rest. Everything's reset now, and you can. Uh, you're not invisible now, are you? So if you want to go back to where Leon is, then you'll need to roll stealth. Yeah, that's correct. I'm no longer invisible. Or if you could just want to recast invisible, because you probably got those back. I have recovered, um, yeah, two, two spell spots worth of stuff. So I can't just recast invisibility. <laughs> I like being invisible. Yeah, if you want to do that, it's fine. Let's do invisibility again. Yeah, okay, so no stealth roll is needed. Uh, Leon's perfectly stealth. They've not really done much except move about a bit, so... Okay. Hey, I, I quietly say to Leon, while I'm invisible again, like, I'm also invisible again. Okay. Um, what would you like to do? So, we need to hit them with fireball. The door's, I'm assuming the door's shut, right? We can see it in. No, the, door's, the door's, are, doors are open. There's, there's no door, it's just a okay. door hole. A door hole, you know. Okay. A so we'll get... We'll get our, uh, our friend to angle himself to get a blast in the middle of a room, I guess. I guess down over there, what's his name? Dear God. That's, that's 20 feet that fills the entire building. <laughs> oh, boy. And uh, yeah, incinerate some guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay, do you want to roll damage for this then? Yeah, so we'll go stand there. <laughs> It's 150 feet, isn't it? So yeah, there needs to be an angle where I can fire it in. Oh, okay. You can do it through the window. Be over here. I suppose that's true. I mean, this is fine. It's not going to make any odds. It's not going to cause any problems to be here, is it? Well, they can see him. He's not stealthed. <laughs> yeah, for about two seconds. Oh, I guess so. Okay, <laughs> sure. But they all turn into Okay, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to roll initiative for these guys just in case. I'm pretty sure that's a prize. I suppose they would be surprised, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, eight. Fourteen. Fire <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Paul! <laughs> Go on then, roll your... That's... Oh, it's not, it's not an attack. Doesn't oh, it do did... that. <laughs> oh, uh, right. I know the advanced roll, it's just 18 six, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let me just see if I can just do that. I just, 23! Uh, That's a lot of ones! 86, yeah. You can do it by pressing that, can't you? You could just press fireball and it should do it. Yeah, 20, uh, yeah, you can, yeah. Okay. Um, it is a rain. yeah, but it's not... How do we just make it so that it doesn't actually, it just does damage? Um, yeah, I just rolled thing anyway. So. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You did 25 damage. Okay, let me open up these guys as is. Why are they still called that? That's annoying. There we go. Okay, uh, open character sheet. Right, sorry, yeah, what am I doing? It's a deck save, isn't it? Yes. I need four of them. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. Um, yeah. I think all of them failed except for that 19 guy. That is correct. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to make it really bad for that one that, that got a critical fail there. So how many, how much damage did you do? 23. Yeah, so I'll start from the top. So this guy in the north here did 
I got the full brunt of the attack. Did 20 feet, 23 uh, damage to it. And did uh, he's not looking brilliant at all. Uh, this guy who, who, who did a critical fail takes double damage. Because... I could do that, and he just he he just vaporizes. He's not there anymore. Bye. Uh, yeah, the guy that saves takes eleven damage, I think. Because takes eleven damage because it takes half. Yeah. Uh, and this guy here at the bottom there takes full damage, which is twenty three. Okay. Yeah, you fire this fireball into literally the middle of the. In essence, it's a closed building. Sure, there's holes there, but like there's still walls, uh, and you just fucking absolutely obliterate this. And a lot of the walls kind of just like buckle, and this building is no longer looking as stable as it was before. <laughs> Were there any flammable objects in there that uh, I mean, it's carried? Yeah, I mean, there's wood, you know, there's woods on the floor and stuff like that, and most of them were was incinerated. So the, the stairs up, st uh, the ladder. Sorry, you saw the ladder in the middle. Uh, that's gone now. Oh, sure didn't need that. Yeah, <laughs> we don't. I can walk on the ceiling. I can get up there anyway. Oh yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, I climb up there. <laughs> these guys are technically surprised. So yeah, if you want to roll initiative, they're going to have to skip their go. Because they, okay, yeah, they were not expecting. Yeah, let's see we all the initiative. They were not expecting fire to just come through the. I think it just got. What are we all doing here then? Other initiatives. Ah, oh, Leon, opposite of what he had did before. Yeah, but also it doesn't matter. Uh, let me do my longer. 18, not too bad. Oh, he goes first. I might as well control my longer, if that's all right. If you wish. Yeah, because it's just... Easier. Yeah, it's just easier. Uh, you can go 40 feet, can't he? So, yeah, he can... Yeah, uh, Malongo is just going to float up a uh, bit higher than he was. And then just walk over to the, the doorway and just... Actually, no. Can he get through this? Oh, he can, yeah. He's just going to float through the window, because he can, and it looks fucking badass. And that's all he can do. Fair enough. And it's a skip turn, because these are all surprised. So, Chester. Right. A man who is still invisible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But if you cast any spells and make some attack, you won't be. I mean, do you need to cast any spells? You can just go and beat them up. Yeah, that includes making an attack. Oh, right, yeah. I thought... If you cast a spell or make an attack roll, you stop being in the ball. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah, I'll advance to here so I can actually see this guy properly. And then I'm going to... Well, he's about dead, so let's just try and pinch him off. Don't get away with just passing right across. Oh, God, you look a bit warm in there. <laughs> uh, 19 is a hit. <laughs> Which one are you attacking, Sam? Uh, this top one. Top one? Uh, you fire out your rear frost, uh, hit some square in the chest, and he just freezes, fully frozen, and uh, you kill him. He falls over to the ground. No, actually, if you want to do that yourself. He, he's just there, uh, frozen. It's leaving there as a statue. Yeah, as a statue. <laughs> just awkwardly. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. That's well, the end of Chester's turn. <laughs> he's, nice. he's visible again. <laughs> and it is Frederick's turn. Fuck him up. <laughs> All uh, right, Frederick will advance into the building and shoot fireballs at the sky. Jump. Sure. Yeah, that's going to hit us at 20. 
Is that not? That, no, that's just a. Yeah, that's going to hit you. I thought that was a uh, crit, but it's not, is it? It's green. 10. Yeah, he fires his uh, fireball straight into the face of this. Uh, of this high woman, and he uh, he doesn't die, but his face is super singed. He's not very happy. He's looking very worse for wear. Oh, I think you've done this. Anything else? Oh, Frederick's turn. That's all he can do. Okay, and oh, Leon here. Yeah. You're stealthed. Mm-hmm. So you, anything you do right now will be classed as a uh, a stealth attack. Uh, well. I might as well fire an arrow. This just seems cruel at this point. Just the guy straight through the window. Sure. 24? Yeah, that definitely hits. And he needs to... <laughs> Should I even... I'll, I'll do it just for the sake of it. That was a con 12. Yeah. Oh yeah, he fails that as well, so he, he, you, can, you can do your poison damage too. Yeah, one. Okay. So what's that? That's twelve. A lot of ones today. You fire your poisoned, poisoned arrow. He's just been hit in the face by this fireball, and now you've just fired an arrow into his face, poisoned as well. He just <laughs> he gets knocked back like ten feet, and just dies on the spot, on the floor. Sorry. I almost feel bad. Oh, almost. I'll uh, just move forward a bit. Malongo going to finish them off? Uh, I think he might do. It is indeed his go. Um, floating there, menacingly. <gasps> <laughs> he had... He, I mean, he's, he, he's a construct. He knows about things. So he goes around because uh, this guy's in cover. Not anymore because he's right next to them. He just does a normal... Oh, he gets to do two attacks because it's level five. He's level five. His <laughs> first attack just... He, he, hubris, absolute hubris, and misses. And his second attack, uh, does that fit? It does. It's lucky Melongo is in cover now because it means he doesn't take psychic damage from missing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three slashing and seven radiant. Jesus Christ, ten damage. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Melongo swipes at uh, this um, this high woman that's in cover. Although he's not in cover technically now because no longer is there. Uh, and it's a fair whack of damage to him. And this high woman is just not looking very well at all. Oh, this guy's dead, sorry. And I need to get rid of all of the dead high women. Okay, uh, Chester. Well, I can get that far and then I can attack this guy. He's going to use Rare Frost again, because it worked last time. On the guy who's fighting Malongo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to hit. Plus seven, wow. That's uh, 12 cold damage. Uh, yeah, my cantrips are all loads better now. I'm a level five. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do exactly the same thing as you did to the guy up the top. He just freezes in place and dies. Brilliant. <laughs> nice um, to meet you. <laughs> can Oh yeah, let's that, sort out the let's sort out the experience before we do anything. Uh... We smashed it today. <laughs> That's not his Fireball, is it the best spell? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> uh, thanks for giving him fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's level five now. You get fireball at level five, so you, you should get that. That's the whole point, is meant to be DPS. I mean, I, I now we're more, around. more variety, and we ended up with fireball anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's probably when everyone's stood in a line. And you can just shoot like 30 people in a row. Uh, can, you, 
Can we you have to a big march of enemies? Yeah. I'll have, to, I'll have to make sure that happens at some point so you can do it. <laughs> can you two make... Um, what will this be? Insight, I guess? No, it's insight. Like no, insight is for people, isn't it? Um, investigation. Okay. Oh, I'll do it for you then. Oh, 13, yeah. Um, yeah, so with the fight over, and you've noticed that the... Uh, you know, you did the fireball and everything like that. And you did notice when the fight started that this building is no longer exactly very safe. Um, it looks to be leaning uh, quite a bit. It's leaning backwards. Um, and we're still in turn order now because, uh, well, it's not combat, but it is. Things are happening. Um... So Chester, Maybe you've just had... stand inside it. Yeah. So Chester, you've just had your go. Uh, so Frederick, what would Frederick like to do? Just in turn order for the time being. I and mean, Frederick probably wants to leave the building. Uh-huh. And then he's left the building. Frederick has left the building. Is that all his go? She's running a straight line exactly where it's fallen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking Prometheus. Jeez. Uh, Chester, can you make a dexterity save, please? Yeah, he can. He's so dexterous. I've got a dexterous McDungle thing. <laughs> Dexy dongle. Well, Dexy dongles. Dexy dongles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the roof, a um, a plank of wood. Well, the, the you know the floorboards. Uh, starts falling, and you nimbly dodge out the way of them. Well, I don't like that. Leon, it is your turn. You don't have to do anything, well, obviously, because um, you're outside of the building, but... What would you like to do? Oh. Just move away. <laughs> quite a lot. Quite a lot. Fucking yeet. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should have made perfect oh. move. Uh, <laughs> like a cunning action dash, anyway. So, yeah, you can get really yeah. far. You can do double. You can dash for your actual action, then you can cunning action dash. So you can go quite far. Yeah. If you want to, like, fall on off the screen. Yeah, if you want to go, f uh, do and go an extra forty feet with, um, uh, with Frederick, that's fine. Because I thought you were going to anyway with like just make him dash and move out of the way. He's now further away. Mm. Right, Malongo's turn. Um, he noticed, you know, he was looking in your direction anyway when the, uh, what do you call it, fell. Can he make any saves? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I've got his up anyway. Can he make a dex save? Oh, yeah, he, yeah, okay, yeah. The floorboards are all falling out, uh, falling down, and he successfully... Uh, doesn't get hit by one of, uh, one of them. However, he needs to make another one because it's con they're constantly falling. Yep, he gets saves that one and oh no, he fails that one unfortunately. And a bit of uh, the floorboards just whacks him. I can't really say in the face because he's a sword. But yeah, he knocks him, knocks it down, knocks him down. He's not stunned or anything like that, but he's like he can't do the rest of his turn. So oh, no. Chester. Can you do? I'm gonna uh, guess what? I can do. I can do anything. I'm so powerful. What are you asking me? Deck, uh, deck save. Okay. Yeah, you're perfectly fine. You can move two spaces out. If, if you want to leave. <laughs> I mean, probably. Can I go pick up my longo? Okay. Uh, you can, but you are moving two spaces, so you will have to do another deck save. How do I make it stick? I don't know, you've been doing it before, it seems. Oh, you have to right click midway through. Uh... I could go pick up my longo and then jump out the window. That would and then be I would too... be outside within my. Yeah, so sure. I could make that... a deck save to do yeah. that. Uh, yeah, you can move down to pick him up, but uh, yeah, and then you want to do your save.
Yep, you're safe. Okay. You don't need to roll anything to pick him up. He's a sword. Yep, that's um, part of his design. Mm-hmm. And then he jumps out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, me and my longer are outside now. Okay, well, turn order is fine because you are out of danger. Yay! Uh, yeah, so in the next, like, minute or so, you see this uh, was dilapidated guard tower. Now, the foundations have pretty much been destroyed because you threw a fireball in there. It starts to... behaviour? Yep. Yeah. It's... Can I... Do you like a... Can I do that? I'm not sure. No, I can't. Okay, I was hoping to be able to move the, the little thing that I drew. It just falls back and crashes entirely on the floor. Dust, wood splinters, raise, raises, uh, rises up into the air. And now it is <laughs> a ruined guard tower, not a dilapidated one. Not a run down one, sorry. Well, probably for the best. Well, I uh, hope they didn't have any important loot on them. Uh, what That's could... a chink. I would say <laughs> the back... Whoops, oh, well, whatever. Can I undo that? I can, okay. Yeah, the back three were buried, but uh, the guy at the front is... He's not fully buried. You can definitely still see him. So if you wanted to, like, pick through the the debris, see if there was anything there. Yeah, let's investigate this guy's body. I'll let Frederick do it. Which okay. Um, a D twenty with advantage. I think that's what I did with humanoids, with better humanoids. Five to twenty. Oh yeah, you find twenty gold on him then. I'm not oh. going to. Uh, uh, if you want me to actually say what equipment he's got, but it's just normal, like, generic equipment. It's not anything magical. Uh, he says, oh, Leon, this one actually did have some gold in him. Do you, do you want this one? Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, so it's We've uh... never said that before. But... <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh, 20 gold. 20 gold pieces. He can have these. Um, you hold on to it. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be safe with you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your trust. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I've got a lot of gold. That'll be useful eventually when people stop giving us things for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, well, with that, you've basically come to the end of my stuff that I've been able to scrounge up. Uh, over today and yesterday. <laughs> oh, good. 